In this lecture, we are going to talk about separatedness and Hausdorffness, and then uh, talk about separatedness of algebraic sets and algebraic varieties. But before we do so, let us recall some facts from topology. So the first thing we're going to talk about is diagonal. So diagonal is of this form x comma y, where x minus y is equal to zero. So that means that both these elements are equal. So generally, diagonal is written as x comma x, but here we are writing in this form. Uh, precisely because now you can see it's a algebraic set. It is defined by the zero of a polynomial. And the polynomial is x minus y equals to zero. So since it is zero of a polynomial, it is closed in Zariski topology. So what we are going to show now is that it is not closed in product topology. So the proof is by contradiction. So assume our diagonal is closed within product topology. So product topology will be a1 times a1 because this diagonal is living in this space a2. So the complement of our diagonal is an open set because the diagonal is closed. So complement would be open and we can write it as u times v where u and v are open sets of a1. So the contradiction which we are going to arise is we are going to find the z comma z in u times v. So the z comma z obviously should lie within the diagonal. Uh, so that means that z comma z should not lie within the complement because the definition of the diagonal is that both these elements are equal. So this should lie on the diagonal. So this is the contradiction. So we will show that z comma z lies in u times v and it should not lie within the uh, this uh, should not lie in here. So let us see this. So first recall that open sets of a1 or of this form a1 minus a finite set of points. So you have these this open set u which lies in a1 has this form this open set v which again lies in a1 has this form it has r points missing it has t points missing so now you can take these r points out from a1 here take these t points out also and then you can pick up z like this so this z comma z will lie in u times v and therefore we have the contradiction so now we prove an important lemma this lemma would not be used anywhere, but it helps us build the connection between separatedness and Hausdorff and show that they are analogous to each other. So you fix some topological space V. So V is a topological space. And then the diagonal is closed in product topology if and only if V is Hausdorff. So in Zariski topology, it is not Hausdorff. And this diagonal is not closed in uh, product topology. So this lemma is of uh, no use here, but what we are trying to do is we are trying to show that separatedness, which will be related to this diagonal, is an analog of Hausdorffness, and that is why we carry this over to Zariski topology. So let us prove this in this direction. So we start with V as a topological space, and the diagonal is closed. So we pick a point x, y in the complement of the diagonal, and uh, so. A diagonal is closed so this is open so you can find open sets u and v so u1 times u2 is the neighborhood of this point so this intersecting with the diagonal is null set now if these two points are distinct x and y are distinct in v this means that you can have open neighborhoods x in u1 and y in u2 you can shrink these sets such that this u1 intersection u2 is a empty set so this means that you have reached the Hausdorff condition. So this just comes uh, from the product topology. So from product topology, if these two points are distinct, you can find uh, these sets uh, u1 and u2, which are neighborhoods of x and y, and this will just pop out. And now you can start from this condition and then construct a diagonal, uh, this condition here, to get x, y lying in open. So you run the direct this argument in the opposite direction and we get the proof in this direction you start from this condition and just have this condition and then you come here so now we come to the main objective of this lecture that is separated so an algebraic set v is separated if and only if the diagonal is closed so uh, so you can see it is analog of uh, this lemma but it is not precise analog of this lemma because Zariski topology is not Hausdorff and the diagonal is not closed within product topology. So this lemma doesn't really apply here. 
but essentially we are saying that this is an analog for Hausdorffness motivated from this lemma. So let us do an example. So example is this P1 is separated. So P1 is covered by two sets U0 and U1 and each of these sets is um, isomorphic to the a fine line so you're given u0 as 1 comma x and u1 as y comma 1 so since p1 is just covered by these two sets you can find the product like this so the product would be u0 times u0 then you have union u0 times u1 u1 times u0 and uh, so there are four sets which are here so we need to show that diagonal is closed in in the intersection everywhere so closed means that we have to find an algebraic set, an equation like this equals to zero. So delta in P1, so you take the diagonal here and then you have to find out intersection with each of these sets and show that actually it is closed here in this set. So you find the diagonal here, take its intersection here, you have to show it as closed, take the intersection here, show it as closed, take the intersection here, show it as closed, take the intersection here, show it as closed. So uh, this u0 times u0 and u1 times u1, these two are going to be the same. And again, these two case, cases are going to be the same. So we are going to consider just this case and then one of these, these cases. So diagonal intersect with u0 times u0. So this is just x times x in a1 times a1. So this you can always say set y equals to x. It's precisely this equation. So nothing had to be done. Same thing you do in this set here. Now what about um, intersecting u0 times u1? So in this case, we will have x, y is in a1, but now we are trying to glue these two sets together. So it has to be the case that we have to set these two somehow equal to each other. And the only way you can do is now you take x common, x should not be 0. It is not 0 in the intersection of u0 and u1, and you take x common you get 1 by x comma 1 and these two have to be glued now here because this is our second set here and now you have to say that 1 by x has to be equal to y if these two sets have to be equal and that will give you xy equals to 1 so again a polynomial equation on this side so you have this is a 0 of a polynomial so again an algebraic set so we can see that p1 is separated so now we are going to come to the definition of an algebraic variety. So notice that our story began with an algebraic set. So on an algebraic set over K, we formed a K ring space. So V comma O of V. So this, we learned how to construct the space on any algebraic set. So you start with a set V, you had an algebra like this, and then you could have open sets which were defined by some polynomials like this and then you localize it and that's how you got a ringed space so an a fine algebraic variety over k is isomorphic to a ringed space which arises like this so from this a fine algebraic variety which is the ringed space coming from an algebraic set we move to a algebraic pre variety so algebraic pre variety is again a ringed space like this where x is quasi compact that just means that x has a finite cover and we do not call this compact precisely because the underlying space is not Hausdorff if the underlying space is Hausdorff then you will call it compact and every point of x has an open neighborhood v so every point of x has an open neighborhood v which is isomorphic to the ringed space on an algebraic set so overall it will look like an algebraic set if you take any uh, point and its neighborhood then it will also look like this ringed space so now we will say this algebraic pre variety is separated if it satisfies the separation axiom so we are going to talk about this separation axiom in a bit so this algebraic variety is separated if it satisfies the separation axiom so a separated algebraic pre variety is called a algebraic variety so again the story is you start from a, a fine algebraic variety which comes from an algebraic set from here you land up in algebraic pre variety which you can say that algebraic pre variety is just constructed by gluing uh, together a lot of 
A fine algebraic varieties. So you glue together a lot of A fine algebraic varieties, you get an algebraic pre variety because locally it will look like this a ringed space. But we want to um, compute some homology and cohomology groups, so we need some analogous condition of Hausdorffness because we want to use all the tools of topology available to us. So we need the separatedness condition. Once you put a separatedness condition, you have an algebraic variety. So that is the story. So now we come to the separation axiom. So separation axiom means for every pair of regular maps, so they're just going to be uh, polynomials or rational functions from an affine algebraic variety V. So you have any pair of regular maps, phi1, phi2. So there are two maps. So say one is phi1, other is phi2 from V to X. Then um, if the images of these maps agree in X, then all these y to start with from v, this will be closed in v. So this is again a diagonal argument. So see, uh, these two maps acting on some set v and taking it to the diagonal in the sense that both of them agree on x. So if they agree on x, then uh, you know the set from which they were coming is closed in v. So this is the uh, separation axiom. So if this is satisfied, we have algebraic variety.